subscribe welcome back to my channel Romel I do want to be in a shot yeah come I have my uh, friend's cat his name is Romeo <laughs> and he's with me while I'm doing readings so as a lot of you guys know I'm on holiday right now and those who have been asking me about bookings I'm going to start taking bookings in the beginning of July I definitely will update my YouTube as well as my Instagram so just follow me on one of those platforms and definitely you're going to see when I'm taking bookings again so today I thought about bringing back uh, <laughs> I cannot with this cat. Wait, give me one second. Since I'm on holiday, I don't have any objects to show you or different decks to choose from because I don't have many with me. So I'd say, like we've done in the last one, just choose from number one, two, three, or four. I'm going to put it up somewhere in one of these corners, guys, for you. And listen to your gut. Maybe one of these numbers has been... Um, chasing you for a while or maybe you're just gonna be intuitively drawn to one of those numbers for me personally um, I don't even look at the objects if there is any object already shown to me I just when I'm listening to the tarot reader talk in the intro I kind of look away and one of those numbers will pop, will pop up for me so that's how I tend to choose it but I know you probably have your own strategies guys and yeah, let's look what's the unexpected. For a lot of you, this is going to be something that you already maybe thought of or you already had in your mind. So it might be more like a confirmation. For others of you, it's not if it's not going to ring a bell, you know, ego knows as much as it does right now. So kind of try and apply what suits to, you, suits to you. But I'd, you know, suggest looking back at this video after a month or so. If you'd like to obviously not everyone remembers but hey um, I've done that a couple of times myself and at first I had no idea what I was talking about but then everything fell into places so I hope it's going to be helpful for you guys and I'm gonna see you in timestamps <laughs> Hey, pile number one people. So I'm starting with the steampunk tarot and we'll see what's going to come up. So what is this connected to? I want to kind of see if this is emotionally based, if this is to do with your relationships, your career, maybe your spiritual path. So let's see what's that about. What is the unexpected connected to? Four of Wands showed itself and it came back to the deck. Maybe for some of you this is to do with your domestic environment or your home. Well, let's see. We have the Queen of Swords come up. Mm -hmm. We've got the Queen of Cups come up. Interesting, strong feminine energy. All right, one more. And the Seven of Swords. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Swords here. Let's see. So, straight away, what's happening here? Um, we have two queens. One of these queens is you. Okay, uh, we're talking about two people here. What the unexpected is connected to is to the person who has a very strong feminine energy. Now, uh, try and see which one of these energies that I'm going to explain to you is yours and which one is the other person's. And that way you might figure out who this person is. Well, since we're talking about unexpected, you might not know this person just yet. But one of these people is... Um, very sharp-minded, very clever, intellectual, doesn't beat around the bush, says it how it is. The other person is very emotionally mature and knows how to manage their emotions. This is someone who comes from heart. This is someone who is soft but strong. That type of person. Um, I'd say one of these people could be, uh, could have this energy of a mother or mothering energy uh, doesn't have to be you know that they do have children but i'd say at least this person has this mother motherly energy maybe wants to mother people around them so then expected is connected to 
um, this feminine energy here. And let's see what the Seven of Swords wants to tell us here. Okay, Four of Cups. Cards are being a little bit messy. Ten of Cups. This card showed itself, so it did come back. Let's see, bottom of the deck, we have the star. All right. I want to pull one card from the Magic of You Oracle. I believe that's how it's called. What is this connected to? What's going to happen for you personally? In this relationship connection now remember this doesn't have to be romantic here yeah? we have vertigo whatever you choose will be correct and I want one more and we have serendipity merge with the flow Okay, this is quite an interesting scenario here for me already. It seems like someone might express their feelings about a connection, about the connection that they're in. And this is romantic connection. So two people are talking. One of them is you to this other person. And... It seems like either you or this person was hiding information or feelings for the other person from you. And someone is going to come to you and say, hey, or maybe you're going to decide to come to this person and say, hey, you know what? I didn't tell you about this, but um, at first, maybe I wasn't interested or I wasn't as involved and I didn't want to get myself involved in this, in this situation. But at the end of the day, I do have very strong feelings for someone here. So the unexpected is someone kind of spilling their heart and being very emotionally open about a connection in their life. So there are a lot of people involved here, right? So I'm just going to put it in a bit of a more simple way for you. You and this person having a conversation one of you guys are saying, hey, you know what? I got to tell you something. And then the whole story about this relationship that they are in or maybe you are in is going to flow. At first, someone was closed off to something, but then they realized that, hey, you know what? Maybe I really like this. Maybe I really want to get involved with this person a little bit closer. Now, um, I'm also hearing there are a lot of options, uh, plenty of fish in the sea so maybe you're gonna be telling this person that or they will be telling you this but what you need to know that there are a lot of options out there and whichever option you choose will be correct uh, we have a lot of keys here and since i did see the four of wands show itself when i was shuffling cards in case you are wondering if you should or if it's okay for you to decide to maybe move somewhere or to move in with um, a person or on your own it's it's a green light for you all you gotta do here it's saying is to go with the flow everything is kind of being shown to you here already and what you need to know is that everything will fall into places really soon the information that is maybe not taught a conversation that wasn't had before is going to be had. Uh, two people will open up and everything is just going to sort itself out. Let me pull one card from the Essential Oil Oracle cards in case someone's asking. Oh, oh, okay. We have the Nurturing card. So it has two sides. These cards, sorry, have two sides. Um, to it. One is a trigger statement and the other one is a true statement. Trigger statement says I am all in my head and true statement says I create with pleasure. 
and the message says take time to rest and in that time be open to creative pursuits surround yourself with things that please your senses and be gentle with yourself in case someone needed an advice here that would be your advice i create with pleasure um i do see here that someone is lost in some kind of connection here would it be romantic or platonic what is the advice for those who are <laughs> i said someone is lost and the card that i pulled said trigger statement says i don't know what to do and true statement says every moment is a new opportunity take time today to engage your senses and create twice creativity here come is coming up twice it's saying try something you haven't tried before um if you if you are thinking of or you will be thinking about something that tends to be out of your comfort zone or you haven't done this before it's saying you have a new opportunity for yourself take time today to engage your senses and create the tension that has been dividing your head and heart is leaving i think there is going to be a wave of creativity coming up for you here guys pile number one let's pull from super lunaris deck it's a very beautiful deck thank you tasha one more time for this beautiful gift someone is opening their eyes to a connection someone is, someone can see it for what it actually is and maybe it's unexpected for some of you because before you were like you were a little bit blind or you didn't want to see or this person that you're gonna be talking to unexpected pile one we have the magician. This magician is very in tune with herself. She's very in peace. I'm telling you, there is going to be this intense energy coming your way where you're going to want to do so many things for yourself. But first of all, you're starting some type of connection out with someone. You're speaking up, you're saying... Um, you expressing yourself and you being very honest as well as this other person and these two people are gonna come to conclusion here and we have the Queen of Cups again somehow through being open and not being afraid to be vulnerable and express your opinion and your mind and being creative you're going to reconnect with your heart space. What did I say? Look. Ten of Cups is here twice. A lot of happiness and love is coming your way. That's for sure, guys. Pile number one. Um, now, this, this scenario is quite interesting. So I don't know how um, sorting out this or speaking up uh, with this person, talking openly together, how that's going to give you that... Uh, fulfillment and happiness but it seems like that's what will be needed and that's what you're going to be pushed towards to to almost like finish a chapter with someone to put all cards on a table in order for both people to be happy because these ten of cups i'm seeing as one for you and one for the other person and you're both getting what you want and you're both realizing what it is that has been keeping you stuck in the situation like meh i don't know do i want to talk about this i'm not sure maybe i'm gonna keep this for myself until i see what i can do but you're gonna switch things around pretty quickly here awakening is coming up here right this card is called awaken um you can't see it when i put it up close because of the ring light and then bang you you're gonna start feeling like you want to do so much for yourself with a magician here and you're nurturing yourself that's for sure what well, you need to know pal number one that what whatever path you choose will be correct but for a lot of you it seems like it's going to be very focused on what gives you joy what gives you pleasure, what, make, what makes you feel driven and obstacles that are in front of your drive will be demolished. That's the way I'm seeing this. 
so I do hope that this made sense <laughs> I read like blindly for part number one I still cannot wrap wrap my head around um, the whole story because I think it's a little bit complicated and I tried not to be as specific for messages to make sense to as many as as many of you as possible but whoever is in this situation already please let me know what's up obviously if you would like to share and I'm going to catch you in the next one Bye for now. hey pile number two people so we're gonna start with the steampunk tarot and we're gonna go from there so first of all I want to see what is this unexpected situation connected to is it a relationship is it um, business is it your spirituality let's see what is this connected to pile number two the unexpected I'm gonna show you cards in a minute and today I'm not taking any reversals. The unexpected pile number two. Very interesting already, I must tell you. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Ten of Pentacles gave me a feeling, um, not as much of, you know, ancestral heritage, but, and um, current family, but it gave me a feeling of ancestral vibe here. I think this is going to be connected to your emotions and spirituality. The first card that popped up is the Nine of Wands. In this deck is a little bit different from uh, most of the other decks this guy is looking forward this guy is like okay I finished my work here what is next for me that's the way I see this card then we have the nine of swords and we have the page of swords what I want to say to you pile number two it seems like the unexpected is almost like you're figuring out um, you're figuring out why you either couldn't get to sleep or you felt anxious or stressed and how can you cope with it and how can you learn from this so maybe for a lot of you you're going to be doing something or digging deep into your subconscious which will open your eyes to certain struggles that you've had when it comes to your sleep or feeling like you are not present very interesting i feel like i want to use the um, rebecca campbell's deck and see what's gonna happen spiritually here for you how are you gonna feel spiritually you're learning how to be a little bit more present and to stop trying so hard you maybe most of your life you were thinking that i gotta if if i'm not tired or if I'm not pushing and putting extra energy I'm not doing a good job and what's coming up here for you it seems like you're gonna change the way that you see work or how much you do in life your responsibilities I'm hearing it doesn't have to be that hard it doesn't have to be always that hard it can be simple if you make it simple and I think that's something that you're gonna be digging into or you're gonna suddenly have this realization that listen it doesn't have to be that hard let me simplify this we have star bathing it says light body right crystal grid transmission activation so definitely something is happening not only to your body not only to your physical body but to your soul and your energetic body how do I express it in words um, expect a phase but that phase it showed me a couple of days is gonna last no more than a couple of days where you're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna feel like I've been restored energetically and I think for a couple of you, 
you might be working on your energy field or you're figuring out what external energies are not allowing you to rest properly almost like a disturbance of some sorts it might be a residue energy it might be some kind of a contract that is not um finished it might be a constant thinking about a situation it might be someone else thinking about you or someone else's higher self asking for help it happens sometimes where you know you keep dreaming about someone that you haven't thought of for a while mm, this person's higher self might be asking um your higher self for help to reach out um it can be you know various situations but this seems to me that is on a soul level it's energetic um what is being why am i being bothered at night or why i am waking up tired let me figure this out i do believe with the page of swords and the nine of swords someone might reach out to someone that they dreamt about and the story will flow from there i think it's going to be quite an interesting story but overall i'm hearing that someone's body needs healing or someone needs to get their energy back okay let's see what else here and we have earthed learning how learning how to be human in the world but not of it yeah because it seems like someone we have star bathing as well as earthing uh, someone is learning how to be how to be an elevated um soul but also live on this earth because if you're not grounded if you're not enjoying these 3d things um it might be difficult to to live in this world and a lot of times you know um what happens if someone is very into spirituality and uh, they become obsessed with their craft they start floating very high up in the air and then it's it's difficult once you see the world from a different perspective to um, to come back and to be human and experience the human lessons i want to say and you know that's why we're here for that's what we're here for to be human but to work on our soul as much as possible. So I'd say what I'm seeing here, someone is, it can be vice versa. Either if you are very new to this, you're going to start feeling like your energy body is becoming almost like um, I'm seeing you floating up in the air. I can't, I can't say specifically here because for all of you it's going to be different but the feeling is going to be that something is happening in your energy body and you're like whoa what is going on so when this happens i'd say try and stay as grounded as possible um some of you might get um might suddenly start feeling this intense wave of heat because suddenly i started feeling like this and it's like i want to take my clothes off that that's how hot it became but that's again that's a hint that something is happening not only to your physical body but to your spirit too someone is definitely being um upgraded i want to say right elevated here okay why is this happening what is the what is the reason where you where are you going okay it's part of the healing deep cellular healing it, it makes sense with the nine of swords here right it says um arcturus energy physical and emotional healing we talked about it right i think since we since we said that you're gonna be looking into what's bothering you once you start looking into this, what's bothering you emotionally, you're going to help your soul big time here. Um, you know, don't forget, life is also about playing, not only healing. Sometimes people are so focused on healing only um, that um, they become almost like obsessed and 
healing takes time healing is a journey it's not about saying to yourself oh my god i have to fix this and i have to fix that and this no take your time it's not a race okay one step at a time and i think that's something that you're going to be doing here let's see what are you cleansing this is definitely my cleansing pile figuring things out Seeing things for what they are, discovering more about yourself and your spiritual maybe abilities. What you're leaving behind? We have Boho transform the way you see. <laughs> of course. See, um, there's a lot of wisdom in this card. As you can see, we have owls behind her, and she's covering her eyes with butterflies, which is transformation. It's it's like a death card, right? So you're definitely being reborn here. Hot flashes, I keep hearing, pay attention to hot flashes. It might start like that or something physical that's going to happen that you're going to be like, why am, I, why am I feeling this way? It's going to be part of, of transition for you. And we have honor your mystical creative force. This feels very uh, metaphysical to me, so I'd say definitely through some kind of creative endeavors, you discovering more of what you're capable of. What's improving? I'm going to use the Kipper deck, Steampunk Kipper. What's improving? Pile number two. Turquoise color might be important as, be as well as blues and violet, lavender type of color. Uh, we have main woman. The way I'm picking up main woman here is main character, meaning you. What's improving? You improving yourself. That's the way I see this. Let's see what else. What's improving? And you might be possibly going on some kind of a journey. Put it together with this page of swords from this deck. And makes sense right some of you may be overseas you're traveling overseas some of you might possibly um, go by car by train but this journey seems like you're being prepared for that and you probably already know about this journey what else do we need to know about this someone is waiting for you Someone is waiting for you or you waiting for someone to come to you. Whoever this person is, this is someone who has struggled in the past, especially financially or they have been left out and they maybe have um, emotional issues when it comes to abandonment in their past. Yeah, and when I said that, we have the tower. So that trip, seems like it has a lot of potential for healing too would it be yours would it be someone else's what an interesting pile i hope this made sense pile number two and i'm gonna catch you in the next one hey pile number three so we're gonna start with a uh, steampunk and let's see what is this connected to the unexpected is it your work is it your relationships is it spirituality What's the unexpected? Okay, first card we have the Hierophant. It's going to be an interesting one. We have the Ace of Swords. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. Ooh, I already know what this is. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Listen. The unexpected. Now, this might be you. This might be someone else. So I'm going to say someone. Someone is learning a lot from the other. There is a person who has a key that can open many doors. Whoever this is, this is someone who is very wise, someone who might be spiritual, someone who probably is older than the other person, 
and this is someone who has a very pure heart this person might spark an idea in the other person and they might be very inspired by how they do things how they approach life how they say it, how they say and express themselves how they talk overall so oration skills might be improving here because someone has met someone else on the way there is this uh, teacher and student type of connection here now interpret it your own way it doesn't have to be um, you know an actual school or university um, someone might be mentoring someone and it seems like these people met for a reason and if this is you who, who's gonna come across this mentor this is very divinely guided these two people knew I almost want to say they probably have signed a contract right uh, that they're gonna meet at a certain time and they're going to experience one another's presence and this person will teach the other uh, now this might have taken some time and if someone has been looking for wisdom that the other has to offer I want to say it sounds it sounds weird but it's very grounded wisdom um, everything is gonna resonate on a soul level whatever is being said and um, whoever this person is they make it very simple and that's why they are so adored and that's why they are so respected in their field this might have taken a while but this is all like divinely guided I'm seeing here Okay, let's see what role I'm gonna play in this connection here. What role I'm gonna play? We have the lovers. I told you this is divinely guided. You see that? Sorry about the ring light. See the angel above over there? These people had to meet at one point anyway. Possibly these two people are from different backgrounds or maybe the way they were raised or the places that they came from are different. We have the seven of wands. At first it seems like you might be a little bit defensive or you might not see or not take this opportunity at first or maybe this is the other person and don't want to put you in the box. Two more cards, well, three more cards popped up. We have the Knight of Wands. And then suddenly someone is very interested in what the other has to offer. This is very connected to going to a place or express experience in something that wasn't experienced before. Something that is foreign. Okay, that's the way I'm seeing this. We have the Four of Cups as well as the Ten of Cups. Overall, in this pile, pile number three, you are being asked not to miss opportunities and to investigate opportunities and people who are going to be passengers in your life. I'm hearing many more to come and each have divine timing in your life. They walk in your life at the right time and it's up to you to take this opportunity or to say, you know what, I'm not interesting or I'm going to put it on a back burner until I feel like maybe I'm ready because you don't have to jump and take everything that other people are offering you you're quite intuitive I'm seeing here but you have a very sharp mind so you in between logical and and you know and, and intuitive and there's a bit of supernatural energy about you I'd say listen to your gut when it comes to learning and when it comes to connecting to other people because someone definitely has a lot of love and I'm saying love because whoever this is they working from heart they teaching from heart and wisdom to share how will this impact you dream come true star judgment you see I'm telling you this is divinely guided <laughs> I mean come on come on what a <laughs> what a hell star judgment wheel of fortune this is gonna turn your life around 
or maybe if you tend to have this mentoring skills or you tend to be a teacher to others you definitely turning someone else's life around here um, and I think if that's you you're going to very soon notice that impact because whoever this person is who's coming to you for something that you have to offer we're definitely going to let you know and both of you are gonna somehow impact one another on a massive scale yeah it's definitely somehow work related three of swords reversed and I'm feeling it reversed here even though I thought I'm not gonna take reversals Someone is working on fixing um, or helping their emotions. And somehow through work or this discovery of this person is going to um, shift everything around. Those who are seeking for... Now, sorry, I'm seeing a book. Um... If you're deciding to write a book or you're thinking about writing a book, this is definitely your pile. But don't rush with it. Take your time. Enjoy the process. If you are thinking or if you're going to come across a book or an article, it's going to be connected to a specific person that you might want to look up and look up the rest of their work. Because that book is going to lead you to that person the book that you're going to read, the paragraph, I don't know, the uh, post, um, it's going to be uh, very mature. It's going to feel like it resonates to your soul because I think for a lot of you, this is something that you had a connection with, this wisdom, I mean, in your past life. Or if you're going to have deja vu, um, it's almost like uh, I'm seeing a couple of souls having a conversation before incarnating that's what I'm going to do that's what I'm going to learn That's I'm going to meet you at this time right? <laughs> and that's why you might have a deja vu because um, it's something that has been talked about but uh, you were not incarnated you didn't have a body at that time I do well very interesting please let me know if you're ready in this situation guys it seems amazing and tribe I'm gonna catch you soon bye for now hey tribe whoever has chosen pile number four I want to switch decks for you I think I'm gonna use the in-between tarot let's see what is that connected to I want to see if this is related to your work relationships maybe your spiritual path let's see powerful oh too many don't want all of them okay two came out let's see what we got here we have the world and we have the king of wands as you can see, this deck is a little bit different from what you are probably used to. Oh, this is sweet. You know what's happening here, pile number four? Either you are healing your inner child big time, once you do that, you're going to feel, remember those days when you were a child and you, there was no, there were no problems, just that feeling of I'm here and, and now and life is magical and there is so much to explore and to experience and everything is interesting and beautiful. That's what kind of vibe I'm getting here. Either that or that's what kind of feeling you will get because of your own child. This is very connected to children and how magical the world seems to be. Um, someone definitely has put you on a pedestal here, will be putting you on a pedestal since this is the unexpected. And um, whatever it is that you do, 
it seems like you almost like an example for other people and that's going to be noticed and that's going to be given credit for i want to say you got a lot to offer for other people and you live in some type of heritage behind some kind of heritage for the other generations to come um, it's it still might be a little bit secretive for many others or it's not as visible but soon enough it's going to be known I hope this is making sense here pile number four um, I'm hearing you're gonna be rewarded for all the work you put in um, especially during those during those quiet evenings so maybe for some of you you have been working on something at night time uh, one more thing now switching between scenarios um, filter out messages see what suits your life uh, more but there is big travel vibe here you might visit a country visit a place that has some type of magical energy in it there is something very mysterious mystical something to discover something your soul needs to pick up um, something that I'm seeing you being charged up by the energy of that location okay Oof, what a pile okay. we have very strong healer vibe here um, and yeah it's if I had to describe the feeling that I'm getting it's like a medicine man whatever it is that you are doing in life maybe some you heal people without knowing I think sometimes what you say or the example how you live your life and the example that you are for others sometimes maybe you don't notice it but other people look up to you big time in your circle how you handle situations how you handle life in general so part of the unexpected might be where someone's gonna come to you and say hey you know what I actually adore you for this and that and maybe it comes from someone that you didn't expect it to come from tell us more about this situation we have the lovers We have the seven of wands I love this card in this deck <laughs> and the lovers here we have the eight of swords oh this is a story this is a very interesting story and we have the six of swords look at the six of swords here sorry of the ring light I know it's annoying listen you're breaking free from some kind of a cycle um, if you used to be um, for a long time now very serious and you were thinking about one project you know work responsibilities at home maybe at work uh, what you have to do it seems like you again you somehow come to switch that energy to a more light-hearted one you know what the seven of wands reminds me of especially in this deck Instead of being, you know, seven of wands, like fighting off someone or standing your ground, um, in this card, how I'm seeing this, it's almost like someone who has done something in that town over there behind them, and now they're running away and they're terrified. Um, <laughs> and we have two people connected here, so it seems like maybe someone's going to help you out uh, to help you feel like you're back. In childhood maybe you're gonna do something silly maybe you're going to do something that you didn't expect yourself to do where before maybe you're very stiff very restricted and you felt like maybe you were afraid of things um, and now what you're doing you're like hey listen world is my oyster you know I, I can do so many things I can explore 
I can experience love, I can experience new ventures, I'm going to put myself out there. So I think for a lot of you, what's happening, you're seeing another side of yourself that you have forgotten about, you're bringing it out and that allows you to feel freedom. But you have to cut these um, cords off yourself, okay? You got to let this happen yourself. So if someone's going to offer you to go somewhere or to do something that seems childish for you, I'd say experience it. Whatever is going to be thrown your way is going to have an opportunity for you to loosen up. And I think that's part of the unexpected. <laughs> you, you're going to feel like you are breaking free. You're breaking free and you're feeling freedom again whatever this is and we have the star this is wonderful I love this card for you see those see those boats from both sides that seem to be like ghost boats you are being guided somewhere divinely guided somewhere do not hesitate do not doubt yourself and know that you are appreciated and I think that's something that's gonna be shown to you soon enough we have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, this is tea. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is. I'm getting a little bit of jealousy vibe here from someone. Maybe you're gonna you're gonna figure out who this is. Especially if someone has been somehow stopping you from doing things. I'd say break free from that situation and you will be because it's the unexpected reading, right? You have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're breaking free from some kind of caca energy. <laughs> okay. Um, you're like, nah, gotta move on. You know, this doesn't feel good to me. I feel like I'm tied down. Um, let me cut those cords. Let me walk away. Would it be silently? I'm seeing for some of you doing this. Um, or some of you doing it with a blast. But uh, the unexpected is that you're changing the way you're approaching things and you're like, no, I'm free. I want to feel freedom. I want to explore. I want to feel like uh, I'm alive again. And that's what you're going to be doing. But before that, some kind of business have to be taken care of. Something that you didn't see before, or you didn't know about, or you felt off about you know let's see what is that we have the hangman hmm this hangman is very interesting you've been keeping yourself in the same situation for too long and now the fire is too hot and now you know that you gotta leave you gotta move you gotta continue your growth you gotta go however this resonates to you and that's what you're deciding to do you're like nah nah I gotta get on that boat and I gotta get out in order to feel like I am alive again okay so for some of you maybe you are um, breaking free from some kind of connection in your life with the lovers here um, and you deciding to choose yourself others of you maybe someone else will be thrown your way um, a person will walk in your life that you might know of, you might not know of them, but they're going to be in the right place in the right time and they might open your eyes to something and you're like, oh, damn, that's actually very true. I got to do this. I have to take care of this. It's going to happen afterwards, the unexpected. Let's see. Let's see. We have three of coins. You're going to seek for collaborations or you're going to seek for like-minded people. And you have the chariot. Of course you have a chariot. You're feeling very peaceful wherever you are. And it seems like everything is going to feel like it's back into places. So that was quite an interesting story, pile number four. I do hope that this made sense. And I hope that this reading found those who needed to hear that tribe. Thank you very much for supporting my channel and for coming back. Love you as always. Bye for now.